Hey y'all, uh, it's December the 14th, 2016, and I wanted to talk to you one more time real briefly about Kanye West and his recent affiliation with Donald Trump. Now, I made a video, uh, a couple videos back, and I was correlating the actions of a Kanye West to the, the actions and the language of a Lil Wayne as of recently. Uh, you know, I established, as many people already probably did, that uh, both of these people sincerely and seriously went against the grain and they both said some things they weren't supposed to say. Things that um, uh, people ridiculed them about all over the place much of their fan base all right and so i made the correlation uh just because you know i found the two situations very similar in that you know they're they're not directly related but lil wayne's refusal to be associated with a group called black lives matters when he has nothing to do with black lives matters and kanye west's uh, endorsement of Donald Trump are pretty much one and the same. All right, and come to find out from what I heard from sources, uh, a close friend of Kanye said that he, in fact, was inspired in large part due to Lil Wayne's going against the grain, and so it, that inspired Kanye to also go against the grain and to endorse a Donald Trump. All right. And the reason for this is because uh, you have a Kanye West stepping out of the box. You, you, you know, you try to call him a black person. You try to say, oh, you're black and that's all you are. And that's all we're going to associate you with. However, Kanye decided that he was going to go ahead and be an individual. He realizes there's many, many black people, many, many black people who are suffering out there and have been suffering. And have been oppressed. But at the same time, there's many white people, Asian people, Hispanic people. There's all sort of colors of people who have also been suffering, who have also been oppressed. All right? And to not acknowledge that is to basically go straight full up, full up and down retard. And Kanye West is stepping away from that. Now, he, he met with Donald Trump after... Um, after escaping the loony bin, he met with Donald Trump, and uh, of course that angered a lot of folks. Uh, and then after unapologetically meeting with Donald Trump with the big old fat smile on his face, he went ahead and he released some tweets uh, about what it is that they met about. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read them off real quick for you. All right, tweet number one. Kanye West said, I wanted to meet with Trump today to discuss multicultural issues. You understand? It does not matter what culture that you're in. Economically speaking, you're getting the shaft hard, bad. You've been getting it. And it did not matter who your president was. It didn't matter how much he promised you. You're still feeling it high and hard. And this is what Kanye West went to meet with Donald Trump about. He said, these issues included bullying, which you can, you can imagine Kanye has been bullied, all right, as of recently, uh, supporting teachers because education is good. And not only that, modernizing curriculums and in, in, in that our curriculums are setting us up for failure. In these public schools been setting us up for failure and also the violence in Chicago which is absolutely paramount and record-breaking basically all right and it has everything to do with gun laws all right but that's my words and then the next tweet says this I feel it is important to have a direct line of communication with our future president if we truly want change you hear what Kanye West just said? Because here's the thing. Barack Obama promised you change. 
There's a lot of people out there who sincerely in their brain dead brains feel that Obama somehow delivered change. He did not. He basically gave you the status quo and up the ante. He magnified the uh, despair. All right. He took a bad situation and made it worse. And that's pretty much what Kanye West just said. And Kanye West should know better than anyone. He's from Chicago. Chicago's in shambles right now. And you have to be completely uh, oblivious to not know that. And so Kanye West said, hey, you know, I understand Donald Trump has a different color skin, but guess what? He can run business. Guess what? We need an economy. Guess what? There's people out there in Chicago killing each other left and right. They don't know which way is up and down. All right. They're not being taught anything worth learning. All right. They have no money to speak of. All right. We have multicultural issues. We desperately need to change. We were promised change. Eight years ago, we did not get it at all, not in the least. And so if we truly want change, in the words of Kanye West, well, we're going to have to have a direct line of communication with um, our leaders, namely a Donald Trump, who has been spinning that hot fire. All right. Uh, there's all sort of change that can be had. And Kanye West among millions and millions and millions of other Americans are ready to put in that work to establish direct lines of communication with people that do not look like you. But guess what? They're Americans. They were born in America. They bleed American. They breathe American. Uh, everything they do is American. Guess what? Because they like freedom. They like liberty. They like going and getting that money. Right. They like providing for their families. All right. And that's basically all I wanted to say about about that. Uh, Kanye West went against the grain. And guess what? He's going to start a train. It's going to be like a wildfire. It already is like a wildfire. But guess what? We're, we're going to we're going to reach demographics. That are unheard of. And I want to finish like this. Uh, while Lil Wayne was discrediting and straight up embarrassing Black Lives Matters as of recently, he, he also mentioned, you know what, we need to come together and, and uh, as people of all races, of all cultures, uh, uh, all sort of Americans need to come together and, and we need to figure out solutions to these problems and perhaps simply coming together is the solution to our problems this is something that mm, the globalist elite those pedophiles up in high places they don't want that they don't want us coming together they want us fighting with each other all day over nothing over our skin color now nah, that age is over we're living Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream right now, baby. All right, and we're not going to give that away. No, we're not going to give that away easily. This is December the 14th, 2016, and I'm going to holler at y'all.